Hello, welcome. Today we want to give our turtle something to do and what our turtle likes to do most is find and eat lettuce. So let's do that. Have a look at this. We create a subclass of the actor class. We call it lettuce. Select an image for it. Okay, and here is our new actor. We need to compile it first before we can use it, but as soon as we have compiled it, we can put lettuce in there. And we can put, in fact, a lot of lettuce in there. And if we also put a couple of turtles in, we can see what happens. The turtles run over the lettuce and they don't do anything with it. So to make something happen, we have to write some code. We go into the turtle class and we say, if can see lettuce.class, then eat the lettuce.class. So eat the lettuce objects of class lettuce. Let's try that out, compile this, and again, um, put this all in here, put a couple of turtles in, run, and our turtles eat the lettuce. Do you see that? Yeah, it works. And the next thing is, if you reset it, or every time you recompile, everything disappears. The more objects we have in there, the more annoying that gets because we have to recreate them recreate them every time. So what we do is we put our starting position in, put the lettuce in, put the turtle in, then we right click on the world and say save the world. Now the world has been saved. Every time we compile, it is back in that state and it runs and our turtle can eat lettuce. And that's it for the day. For today. Okay. Whoa, that was quick this time. Welcome back, it's Michael here again, and this time I've shown you very quickly what we'll do today. So if this was all clear to you, you may want to stop watching now, and that's it, and move on to the next one. And otherwise, I will now take a few minutes to explain what you've just seen. Okay, let's have a look back. Here we are back at the starting point that we had um, at the start of this video. So there's our turtle, no lettuce here. And what we do now is we want to create some lettuce for the turtle to eat. Um, lettuce is an object in the world, so every time we want anything to exist in our world, we need an object to represent it. And to get an object, first we need a class. Uh, we can have no, class, uh, no objects without classes. So first we make a class. Every class that exists in our world has to be a subclass of actor because actors are the things that are in our world. So it, if it is an actor, we can put it in our world. I can make a class that is a subclass of actor by right-clicking on actor and selecting new subclass. When I have, um, when I select new subclass, I get this dialog that asks me for two bits of information. One is a name and one is an image. So I name this class lettuce. You should always name it to say exactly what the objects of this class are, in this case it's lettuce, and the second thing is you select an image. In this case I have already prepared an image here of a lettuce. There is a library of images here as well, so you can um, you know, choose um, from a lot of other images, or you can, by selecting import from file, choose an image that you have anywhere else outside of Greenfoot and it will then be imported and used in your scenario. So you can use an image of yourself if you want or of your teacher and get them chased by monsters and do whatever you like. So in this case, I choose the lettuce image that I have already prepared. So now my class is called lettuce and has this image and it appears here as soon as I click OK. Now notice that this class is striped, which means it is not compiled yet. So if I right click it, there is no constructor, no new lettuce um, instruction because it isn't compiled. I hit compile and now I can create a lettuce object and that is what it looks like. If I hold my shift key again I can create many of those and then I do the same with the turtle. I put a turtle in and if we see that um, the turtle runs but at the moment it will just run straight over the lettuce objects without um, doing anything with them because we haven't programmed our turtle to do anything special when it runs across a lettuce object. So we go into the turtle code and now what we want to do is use two more methods that I inherited actually from the animal class. If we look at the animal class, let's open the editor for this, I have that open documentation view. Remember here you can switch between the source code and the documentation view. There are two methods that we haven't used yet. CanSee, which takes a class 
as a parameter and returns a boolean. So with that method I can ask can I currently see an object of this class and it returns a boolean that is it returns true or false to me and then there's an eat method which is a void method which means it returns nothing that is really just an instruction a command and it also takes a class it says eat an object of that class. Okay using those I can now write an if statement because the first method can see returned a boolean I can use it in the condition of an if statement in the same pattern like I have these other two if statements above. So I can say if and then I write my um, can see method. The can see method had as a parameter a class so essentially that can see method says if I can see an object of this particular class and I want to check for lattice objects so I'll write lattice. The way you refer to a class in Java rather than an object is you write dot class at the end of the class name. So if I write lattice dot class I'm referring to the class lattice. So this parenthesis here closes that one and remember look here's another one open so I need another closing parenthesis to close that one from the if statement. So I'm now saying if I can see an object of class lattice then and here in the body of the if statement I want to say then eat that object and remember there was the eat method that also took a class as a parameter but I can use that as a command because it had a void return type so it doesn't return anything and that is the code that I need to make this happen. I close this and now notice I need to compile now because this is uncompiled. Notice um, the objects here as soon as I compile every time they disappear and now I put my turtle in um, and I put the letters in. The annoying thing uh, is that they always disappear. As long as we had only one or two objects we could easily put them back in. That is not a real problem. But as soon as we have many objects that becomes increasingly annoying to have to do that over and over again because every time we change the code we need to recompile and then all our objects are gone. So what we can do instead is we right click on the background of the world and there is an option called save the world. If I click save the world it will actually write some code into the world class. So I select this now um, and that actually opens for me the turtle world class definition. So here see that's the editor for turtle world. It is this class that has just been automatically opened and has been opened because the Greenfoot environment just wrote automatically some code into this. We will investigate this code in detail a bit later but here essentially um, if we quickly look at the code there's a turtle being created and then the turtle is added to the world and then there's a lattice being created and added to the world and another lattice object created and added to the world and so on. So here is just code written that creates all these objects and places them into the world. So what I have done by hand before has now been written as Java code into this class and now every time I compile this will happen automatically and these objects get created and placed into the world. If I run this now my turtle every time it runs over a lettuce object, it will eat that lettuce. Okay. And that is it for today. So something again for you to try out. By the way, what we've done here formally is called collision detection. Collision detection is to recognize when two objects touch each other. And in this case we have recognized that the turtle object touches the lettuce object by using our can see method and while logically this is seeing the lettuce and eating the lettuce the technical term for that is collision detection between two objects. We will see more of that later when we want um, to write other games where things happen when two things collide. But this is enough for today. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.